up against Goldfish. He ain't no dummy. Say hello to Puppet! They're both going to be in our dreams tonight for different reasons. Oh. <laughs> Puppet's got that quarantine eyebrow going. I love it. <laughs> All right. Goldfish, Puppet, one song from each of you, and then we will vote for our favourite performer. It's a show that wore masks well before they were cool. This is The Masked Singer. We're halfway through the first of our three musical face-offs for the evening. Another performance is on the way, but first, more clues. Let's find out just who is pulling Puppet's strings. Here we go, Puppet. <laughs> Am I a puppet? Yes and no. That's scary. It is. Oh, my God. I wonder if I can get pyjamas in there. <laughs> I love to entertain, but nobody is pulling my strings. And you don't need the Magna Carta to tell you that. That's to do with the law, above the law. We puppets aren't perfect. I can't deny that. Are they a puppet? Is it aggro? Not aggro. That's why I believe in do what I say. Not what I do. Why are there cats painted in the background? Pussy cat dolls? <laughs> that makes me very fit for my job. I have to admit, I do love to sing. Is it Luna Park? I live near Luna Park. I don't know how that's going to help. <laughs> Puppets have been known to do that in the past. Maybe as far back as 1964? 64 what? Is that when they were born? Ties have played an important part in my life. And not just because I like to look good. I reckon it's a politician. Kind of spooky. Most of them are. <laughs> Normally, I'm a nice guy puppet. <laughs> are they roses? Is it one of the bachelors? But on the mass Singer, I'm taking no prisoners. <laughs> How well are they going to sing, do you reckon? I reckon they'll be good. Lord Almighty, I feel my temperature rising. Oh, oh I love it. Higher, higher. Who is this? Through to my soul. Oh, my God, he's so good. Girl, 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 are you going to set me on fire? So far away, I could probably almost. There you go, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it, you're kind of scaring me. <laughs> Come on. I'm sure I, I tried. I was sitting in my seat and I was moving backwards. Besides being terrified, 
Uh, how was that performance for you? I thought I was having bad dreams before in 2020, but seriously, please. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't want to be scared by you, but clowns and puppets, like, it's a thing. Calorophobia, I believe it's, I believe it's called. Is, is the, it? Yes, yeah, the fear of clowns and fear of puppets. And okay. you're in the middle of a studio full of them. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks. Yeah, it's brilliant. Dave, what did you make of that performance? Unbelievable. I mean, I loved it. And have a look at the clowns. They're so shocked at your talent, they haven't, <laughs> haven't shut their mouths for quite a while, so... All right. Do you have one question you may want to ask Puppet? Guys, Jackie, you have a question for Puppet? Obviously, we're all stumped on the year that you mentioned, which was 1964. So my question is, how old are you? Puppets don't age in human years, but the events of 1964 impacted my career. What happened in 1964? Well, these parents might have made love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking... Russell Crowe was born in 64. Was he? Yeah, and he would scare me. He was a gladiator. And he could sing. Above the law. I'm locking in Russell Crowe. That would be amazing. All right, any clues that catch your eye there, Dave? In the package, we saw the, the, the roses thrown to the ground. But on him, looks like a carnation. Oh, God, were they carnations? Yeah. Oh, my God. Mark Holden, guys. Mark oh Holden. Oh, my God. That's where the oh suit and tie and the Magna Carta. Mark He's a Holden. barrister. Mark, Mark Holden. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. We need to give him a touchdown. <laughs> touchdown! <laughs> It'll be really embarrassing if it's not Mark Holden. Yeah. <laughs> what do you make of it, Jackie? I am also convinced it's Mark Holden. Love it. I really hope it is. All right, Ursula, who's behind the mask? That sounds like a man who could get you into a situation. I reckon that's Barnaby Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> He's not purple enough, though. Yeah. If there's a boy who needs to get out of the house for a little bit, it's Barnaby Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Who is that? Now, listen up. One of you might have to take off those incredible masks before the end of the night. But first, we are going to vote. Who is that? Joining our guessing panel at the ballot box this year are our masked singer super fans. They are located all over this enormous country and they will help decide the fate of our singers. The super fan vote is worth 50%. The guessing panel vote is worth 50%. So, who gave your favourite performance? Was it Goldfish? Or was it Puppet? Cast your votes now. Get voting. Who gave your favourite performance? This is hard. I was so busy looking at the mask. Yeah, we all know you're just swiping on Tinder. <laughs> It's a question as old as time itself. Who won the singing battle between a goldfish and a puppet? Our MIBs are counting the votes. We'll bring you the result right after the break. Don't go anywhere. I sewed a few buttons on during quarantine. Did you? Yeah, I could maybe make a costume. I mean, how much harder can it be? <laughs> engaged in a ferocious musical face-off. Our super fans and our guessing panel have cast their votes for their favourite performance. The results are in. After the first face-off, the favourite performer is... Puppet! <laughs> Congratulations, Puppet! You're safe. We'll see you again very soon. You'll get used to puppet. Goldfish, you now have to face the guessing panel at the end of the show. You never know. You just might have to take off that mask. No, I think she'll get through. She'll get through. Who am I? Russell Crowe, Mark Holden, Barnaby Joyce. I'm the puppet master. Puppet master, yeah. Come on. <laughs>
This is The Mark Singer, proudly brought to you by Glitter and Felt. We are one song away from another massive unmasking. Puppet is about to take the stage. Make sure you carefully watch these clues about the little boy made of wood that could. <laughs> There's big magic in what I do. Although granting wishes isn't my usual job. Is granting wishes? Is he Aladdin? I could do it until the cows come home. Farmer. Farm boy? Am I the sort who flies by the seat of his pants? Well, I have walked to the beat of a different drummer. Oh, maybe he's a drummer. Am I wise? I have been in the past. When I took my inspiration from the Old Testament. Old Testament, Noah. <laughs> Noah. But don't judge me for that. Don't judge me for that. Is he a judge? <laughs> I have been the bridesmaid many times, and I forget to be the bride. He gets to be the bride. Taking many hands in marriage. I couldn't be a happier puppet. Except when I finally win the last singer! I'm a little bit frightened, I'm not gonna lie. He's back. to be standing next to you but poor Danny Minogue I believe she has this thing called automatonophobia and she spent the whole performance terrified he's giving me the heebie-jeebies <laughs> it's <laughs> like the paintings where the eyes follow you oh, okay, watch that's that. Now. Watch that. Oh. I don't know I think it's sexy it yeah. looks good on her <laughs> sexy. Yeah. this is someone kooky that would take on one of Queen's most famous songs yeah end it with a low note like that and then moonwalk. Like, who could that be? Who are you? Dave, what did you make of that song? Ah, uh, you want someone to love you, I will love you. I would love to take you home. And you know what? I think we look fairly similar. <laughs> I, I yeah. think there's a bit of, I would Shows have you. your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, him. Oh, him yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
your gap at the top is bigger than mine. <laughs> but I loved it. The, the range was incredible. There's some good pipes going on there. I've always thought Puppet was fantastic. I heard it from the word go. Like, he's got a good voice. Ursula, did you like that song? I did. I love it. And you know what I love too is that his mouth is moving and it looks like the puppet is actually singing. I don't know if there is a man under there. <laughs> I think it might just be a puppet. We're going to need an exorcism done at the end of the show. <laughs> puppet, why don't you tell us something about yourself that we don't know? For most of my childhood, my parents called me George. But that's not my name. <laughs> well, no wonder you're kooky. <laughs> Did that clue help you at all, Danny? No, I think that's something so personal that we wouldn't know. And no, that's what this show does to you. I reckon this guy with the red carnation is famous for the word red. I worked with him many years ago. He's very wise. He does radio. He's very smart. And he loves freaking people out. And he would love freaking me out. I think this is Red Simons. Red Simons. And very famous for wearing a suit, always. Always. And he's been around since the Old Testament. He sure has. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the eyes. <laughs> Husey. I, I heard a deep voice, and in the clues, I heard someone who grants wishes uh, sometimes, and it uh, made me think of a genie, made me think of Aladdin, made me think of Will Smith. <laughs> Jackie, darling, when you saw the clues, what did you see that really stood out for you? Yeah, the drummer part. The only drummer I know in Australia is Ben Gillies. <gasps> ben Silver Gillies! Chair. From Silverchair. Ben yes. Gillies from Silverchair. Yes. Can he sing like that? I don't know, actually. I have no idea. Can you, Ben? Oh. Are you, Ben? <laughs> well, it's a good one. Okay, so there was the cows, which I think is sort of a throw thing What for are the cows? Us. I think it's like a breakfast DJ. They get up with the cows. Before oh. the cows oh. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I think this could be Jonathan Coleman. Oh, he yes. can sing. Yes. I've seen a moonwalk. And with the wishes granted thing, because he does the infomercials, just when you think everything's there, you go, wait, well, wait, there's <laughs> more. Yes. <laughs> Would you please thank Puppet, everybody? Oh, love Puppet. That's what our panel thought. Australia, who do you think is behind the mask? <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who, is that? Who, is that? Who do you think it is? Who is that? We are so close. One more song, then a secret <laughs> celebrity will have to show us who is behind the mask. We are going to get to see their face tonight. Don't miss a second of the nation's favourite guessing game. This is The Masked Singer! watching this is the masked singer and there's singing there's dancing there's a giant puppet with a three-foot head what more could you possibly want in a television show puppet is next to grab the mic what will these clues reveal about our cuddly buddy all right here we go <laughs> oh that laugh i have a deep love for what i do the best bit is interacting with the public. Why the acrobats? Maybe he's backflipped on something. I get even more out of it than they do. Of course, I do it all on my terms. That's a step class. Richard Simmons. <laughs> I don't follow anyone. Thank God for that. Huh? Who'd want to be followed down the street by you? I have many strings to my bow. But I find that four are usually enough. Bass guitar. <laughs> I like the tropical heat. In fact, the sun has no visible effect on me at all. Who's James Mitchell? He's an author. No sunburn for me. <laughs> Definitely not Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I've been many things in my life. Moving from one thing to another. Some quite ugly. I hope the other mask singers never wake up. That the puppet is stalking 
Five o'clock wake up. That is what? And that's breakfast that radio. That's breakfast radio. Breakfast radio. Yeah. 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 Could be breakfast radio. Mm, girl. <laughs> Come on over in my direction. So thankful for that. It's such a blessing. Yeah. Turn every situation into heaven. Yeah. Oh, you are my sunrise on the darkest day. Got me feeling some kind of way. Make me want to savor every moment slowly. <laughs> you could be telling me love how you put it on Got the only key, know how you turn it on The way you nibble on my ear, the only words I want to hear Despacito Que lo más guapo de su despacito Que me las paradas de tu lebran info Y eso de tu cueva lo tomaba escrito Ah, déjame su presa en paz, yo soy este peligro How we do it down in Puerto Rico I just, just want to hear you screaming I I can move forever Con desde contigo Fantastic! Puppet! You did it! <laughs> well done, Puppet. That was uh, bueno. Muy bueno. <laughs> Danny, you seem to be finding the presence of Papa a little less terrifying each time. You know I'm still, like, a bit scared, but that was the f funniest thing. I mean, it was... <laughs> He was clown-like. <laughs> He's like... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Very good singing, though. Husey, what was it like to hear that Bieber song sung by an eight-foot-tall puppet? Yeah, right. I didn't even realise it was a Bieber song, even though I do a yeah. show on a hit radio <laughs> show. <laughs> it's like the biggest song in the world ever. I'm going to get sacked from my radio network now. <laughs> I, well, you didn't hear Bieber at all because that is so deep. It's like, yeah. that's like 15 Biebers put into a blender. I mean, that's... <laughs> Danny, who's behind this mask? You've got so many ideas. Has this narrowed it down at all? I think Red Simons, who knows me very well, who I worked with on Australia's Got Talent, who would totally be psyching me out here. Um, four strings, he's the bass player. So that oh, fits. That Doing many things, so going from playing in a band to being on Hey Hey yes. at Saturday, being the judge on Red oh. Faces, famously wears suits, uh, and he yes. would just love to freak me out. <laughs> 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 you would, wouldn't you, Red? That's a really good one. Okay, Jackie, what was it about the clues that you liked tonight? Uh, I loved the 5 a.m. wake up. I think that's kind of got us thinking down a different path. So... I'm thinking this time someone else is popping into my head, actually. Who? And that's Andrew O'Keefe. Oh! <laughs> Who um, has done breakfast TV, he's done some things he regrets, everything. and he can sing! Yeah. Could be Kyle. Could be your guy. I know. Can he sing? Yep. Oh my gosh, it's Kyle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be <laughs> and he's got that such a creepy turn. No. <laughs> 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 You. I love it too. <laughs> well, guys, to help us out a little, Puppet has actually brought something along from Toyland. Guys, bring out the clues. Stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> How would you know if he's looking at you? Those eyes are everywhere. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Take, two. It <laughs> Take it off. Take it off. Lederhosen. Well, I was not ready for Lederhosen. Lederhosen. <laughs> puppet, what are we looking at here? Can you please explain this clue, Puppet? Please explain. <laughs> These are the lederhosen I wore for one of my most widely known performances. Hmm. Ooh, I'm thinking there's a German connection with the lederhosen. His, his performance on the Berlin Wall when it came down, it's the <laughs> half. It's David Hasselhoff. <laughs> He's looking for freedom. It's He's the, found it's it. It's the, the half. Singer. It's the half. We've always been waiting.
waiting for the half. Is that the half? Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Who is that? It's the only time you're really allowed to tell a colleague to take it off in the workplace. This is the masked singer, the extraordinary puppet is up next. Follow these clues closely and see if you can stitch it all together. <laughs> Singers are on the run from me. This dude is so scary. They'd be easier to catch in my car. He's got a green sporty car. But the Wiggles have that red one. A puppet's life is a partnership. I can't do things on my own. Is he part of a group of people that entertain? My main partner is older than me. And I've been a lot older. Millions of years! You have to be fit to do what I do. There's that step class again. Puppet's always doing a step class. I'm the hardest working puppet in the business. I fight to find the fountain of youth. Less than just a pretty face. But it doesn't matter when you wear a mask, because I am the puppet who cannot die! And I'm not going to die on stage tonight! <laughs> And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? And darling, I will be loving you Till we're seventeen And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe it's all part of a plan. I'll just keep on making the same. I know it's freaking you out right now, Danny, but what was that like? There were puppets everywhere. They were on the stage. There, 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 there. Ah! <laughs> oh, he wants to squash you. Oh, 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 and mean. He's a meanie. Oh, no, he's saying you've no, taken no, it wrong. You he, yeah. he loves you. He's saying he loves you. Oh. He had his heart oh. on his sleeve and it's fallen to the ground, yeah. and, you know. You've sorry. stepped on it. Oh, <laughs> he wants sorry. your love. Oh. He wants your love, Danny. He wants you to take him home and, and place him in the corner of your bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at you all night. <laughs> or if you're scared, you can put him under the bed or maybe he's there already. <laughs> 
Jackie, when you saw the clues for Puppet, what was it that made you go, aha? There were a few chasing themes in there. I saw the guys chasing you and then the car chase. I was starting to think the chaser boys. <laughs> I feel like the puppet has some sort of law degree or has studied law or practiced law. I've gone through the list of celebrities who've studied law and I'm now up to Andrew Hansen from The Chaser. Whoa. That's a really good one. Yeah. Ursula, what were the clues that you saw? Well, I also saw the chasing and I thought chasing bargains. So it all points still to Jonathan Coleman. You know, because he does all of the, all the shopping, yeah, the shopping stuff. Yeah. If I could just draw your attention to how the small lines have vanished from the sides of his face. <laughs> 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 Danny, did you like the clues there? Anything you saw? Can't do things on my own. I keep getting like this vision of theatre, and so there's like a chorus of people and a lot of people around you when you perform. <laughs> my two guesses are Anthony Wallow for The Voice or Michael Cormick. There were really low notes there in some are. of the songs. Yes, there's that... some baritone He's happening. A good singer. I'm going to stick with Anthony Wallow. Wow. Whoa. That's a big, big guess. Talk to me about this, Dave. Tell me Mate, about the clues. There's a lot of chasing. There's something to do with the car. Maybe we should be starting to think about someone who's fit, who maybe ran down the beach in their Speedos in a TV show called Baywatch. Is it the Hoff? I'm still thinking it could be the Hoff. How about we get a bit of truth from Puppet? Please, give us your moment of truth. As a teenager, I sat a career aptitude test. I was told my personality was suited to one job. Owner of a gift card shop. It played right into my hand with Jonathan Coleman. That's one of the tallest mass singers we've ever had. Have you met Jonathan Coleman? Yeah, but we don't know where his actual eyes are. Is he looking at us through the button? Or he could be looking through his pant fly. Yeah. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? He's about to sing for us. Here's some clues we found out back in the toy box. In a puppet's life, every moment is fun and upbeat. What are we not getting about the step class clue? Even if it is your wish, don't have PT on me. Personal training? What is that? PT, initials. judgment on others but never been judged myself so he's been a judge but never a contestant Gino I love all jungle animals elephants and lions mostly and many not in the jungle too like the kangaroo someone who works at the zoo or a vet. I am suited to many roles. Adaptable. Is the suit thing again. A puppet with many, many strings. I'm not afraid to play it ugly, but I don't want to scare the children. Do the other mass singers fear me? Not just the singers, mate. I hope so. <laughs> A lot of animal clues. Yes. Yeah, involved. lots of animal First clues this week. Jungle. Mm-hmm. We're talking away. I don't know what I'm to say. I'll say it anyway. Today's another day to find you shying away. I'll be coming for your love, okay?
wants to say of odds and ends, but I'll be say after me. It's so better to be safe than sorry. Amazing. Dave, what did you think of that? Mate, you've taken me back to 1986 and I'm happy. <laughs> take on me. Aha, that's my teenage years right there. I was hoping for anyone to take me on. No one did, but I was ready. <laughs> Jackie, what were the clues that you saw there? We were thinking Mark Holden in the beginning and I don't know, for some reason, God. we just ruled him out. We forgot Absolutely. about him. And he just said, I am used to judging but not being judged. Yes. Yeah. So he was a judge on Australian Idol, but he's probably never been in a competition where he's been judged. But then there were also clues that started us thinking about Chris Brown. The <gasps> oh, oh, Dr. Chris Brown. Yeah. I was also leaning towards Dr. Chris Brown, you know, because everything you? sort of points we're, to oh, him. Wow. Yeah, with the animals and stuff. But then just going straight off the clues, he's fit. Um, he loves animals because he's played Wolverine, so he's been basically an animal. And he played P.T. Barnum in The Greatest Showman. It's you, Jackman. He's yeah. fit. He works very hard. Look, guys, each of our secret celebrities is going to give us the name of a celebrity connection. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> oh, this is going to play into <laughs> your seat, Jackie. You know everyone and who they know. Puppet, could you please tell us all who is your celebrity connection? Here we go. Dame Judy Dench and I both share the same role. Oh, oh. she's played a million roles. But my production got more standing ovations. Whoa. Dame Judy. Well, what, what is, is it, Dame in? Judy? Yeah. Dame I'm Judy. Dench. I almost said Dame Judy Dench. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say almost when you literally <laughs> said that to <twice? laughs> But Dame Judy Dench, she was in Cats, guys, the, the latest movie yeah. Cats. Yes, yes. Oh, so she played ah. one of the cats. Well, that would make sense because in a movie, you don't necessarily stand up and give a movie a standing O, but a live a performance, show. you would. Plus, I don't think a lot of people stood at the end of that movie. <laughs> mm. The people who saw it stood to walk out earlier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Husey, I'm going to put you on the spot. Tell me who's behind the mask. You know, I'm going, I'm, I've got a new one here. I believe when they said, I love all jungle animals, elephants especially. You know what it made me think of? Darren Hayes from Savage Garden, whose biggest hit worldwide smash was the animal song. You would blow my mind to the moon and back if that yes. was Darren Hayes. What a superstar. Thanks for doing the show, Dazza. <laughs> And Danny. I'm going to go with Dr. Chris Brown. What about you, Ursula? Who's behind the mask? Um, well, I'm going to take that clue about Dame Judy and I'm going to flat out ignore that. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm going to stick with you, Jackman. Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Who is that? All right, Puppet is about to grab the mic, but first pay very close attention to these clues. What do they tell us about our bow tie wearing buddy? Wouldn't you like to know? This is it, guys. <laughs> career was in the shadows underplayed underplayed look somebody who's like a writer then pow all eyes were on me around the world now my work has a new base i'm not shy i can't afford to be obviously a professional
professional performer. Can't afford anything at the moment. <laughs> but at least I'm not heading south anymore. Not heading south anymore, yeah, because the borders are shut. <laughs> I've made some big moves in my life, and there are big moves to come. Will the king return? What's the king? I think that's a play. I used to be a puppet of the night, but things change, <laughs> and now I sing a rainbow. So he worked at night, no longer works at night. Yeah. Wow, I'm really good at this. <laughs> this puppet will sing up something big tonight. No strings attached. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. She's into superstitions, black cats and voodoo dolls. I feel the premonition, that girl's gonna make me fall. A new sensation, new kicks in the candlelight. <laughs> She's got a new addiction for every day and night. She make you take your clothes off and go dancing in the rain. She make you live a crazy life, but she'll take away your pain like a bullet to your brain. Come on, upside inside out, Just living la vida loca. She'll push it. Espanola, so how good was that? Oh, muy bien. <laughs> Honestly, if we had a golden buzzer, I'd smash it right now. Oh. If that was that kind of show, I'd be all up in it. That was great. This puppet can do anything. There were hip swivels, there was like a kung fu kick. It's a very oh. fit person <laughs> under this suit, whoever it is. Yeah. So, Ursula, yes. you saw some new clues for Puppet there. What did you think of them? Mate, there were heaps. One of the big ones was um, Eyes Around the World Will Be On Me, and I thought, of course. Have you been paying attention? I've been sold the rights to CBS. Yes. I reckon that could be Tom Gleisner. Oh. oh. You never know. He's written kids' books, which goes back to some of the clues we've seen before. And then tonight's clue, you know, looking for the fountain of youth. I think we all know he's had some work done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is Tom Gleisner right there. I like where you're going with it, Ursula. Let's, let's see how it goes. Dave, tell me, if you had to put a name in, who's behind the mask? First time I saw this puppet, I thought Mark Holden because of the carnations, Magna Carta. Mark Holden, also lawyer. Tonight says... And now I sing a rainbow. One of Mark Holden's first hits was Chasing Rainbows back in 1975. It's Mark Holden! <laughs> you sound so sure! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Guys, throughout the course of this series, we've, we've all had our minds pretty much warped by some cryptic clues. We're going to try and get a little more personal tonight. We're going to hear something from the heart. Puppet behind the mask. Who are you? I have never planned my career. I prefer to follow the opportunities as they occur and let them open me up to life and to new experiences. Oh. I believe that kindness in everything is my only guide. Oh, Popper. You gem of a man. You're not frightening at all. No, he's so sweet. Yeah. 
We've had a long road together, you and I, but you're warming my heart. Aww. You are. What about those clues did you like? He says he used to be a puppet of the night, so somebody who used to do musicals, because you're always up late at yeah. night. Yeah. This guy I'm thinking of played King John in a Wiggles <laughs> production. Yeah. And he's spray painting When Will the King Return? I am thinking this is Simon Price. Oh! Yes! You think there's a red skivvy under there? Yes. That would be amazing. Jackie, who's behind the mask? I really don't know who to lock in for this one. Going back to one of your guesses, Danny, Anthony Warlow. Yeah. A lot of clues add up to him. Yes. He was the Phantom of the Opera, Music of the Night. Whoa. And he talked about having a role that was a little bit ugly and creepy. I mean, that's yes. Phantom, right? That's right. And that was his breakout role, and people went nuts for him after that. So I feel like it might be Anthony Warlow. Maybe. And I'd love to see Anthony on this show, so... <laughs> <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? This is the Masked Singer! There are four hidden celebrities standing right here. For one of them, these are their very last moments of anonymity. One hidden celebrity will have to show their famous face to the world in just a moment. Who is it gonna be? Will it be Puppet? Woo! Real man! Bush Ranger? Or maybe it'll be Queen! The votes have been counted and the result is in. The first mask who is through to the grand finale is oh. Bush Ranger! Oh. You're safe, Bush Ranger! Head backstage! Love how happy she is! Always. They all want it. The next mask who is through to the grand finale is. We'll see you in the grand finale. It's down to the boys now. Well, that's if we assume they're both dudes. That's true. My grandmother used to smoke a lot. She had a deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it. It's come down to frill neck and puppet. Gentlemen, the singer who must show us who is behind the mask is... <laughs> Puppet! Oh, oh, well oh, you're through to the grand finale. Head backstage. Well done. Oh, Puppet! Puppet! You're finally going to have to show us who you really are. Yeah, looking forward to that. Guys, this is your last chance. Danny, who is behind the mask? Well, we've had a bit of a journey together, haven't we? I was very scared of you, but you've won me over. You really have. I think this is someone who is tall, funny, famously rides around in a red car. This is Simon Price, the Red Wiggle. Amazing guest. What about you, Husey? Have you settled on a name? I have my original choice, got a lot of traction at the time, and I'm sticking with it. It is the one and only Mark Holden. Wow! Yeah, come on, yeah. come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie, your last chance. I am so heartbroken you're going, but also so excited to see who's under there locking in Anthony Warlow. Well, that's a good one. Love it. All right, Ursula, who's behind the mask? The Magna Carta, maybe an Order of Australia, Strings, Fly Fisherman. I'm going to go with Tommy Gleisner. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That works. <laughs> That's what our panel thinks. Are they completely off the mark? Get your guesses in, because it's about to happen. Are you ready? We're ready. Yes. Ready, ready, ready. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off.
hard to do wiggly fingers in this. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the red wiggle, Skippy. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Professional. Oh, it's so oh good. gosh, Simon, you were such a character on this show. You have no idea how much you made us laugh. Thank you. I had such a great time. You guys have been incredible. Everyone backstage has been amazing. I just thank everyone for such a wonderful, wonderful time. Oh. It has been incredible. You've been in like four TV seasons of The Wiggles. How does this possibly compare to that? The amount of songs we learn as The Wiggles is kind of the equivalent to this, except these are probably a little trickier and a few more words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Normally I go, hot potato, hot potato, cold spaghetti. So there's a lot of words to learn. <laughs> <laughs> You've brought so much joy to so many people because I see online too, everyone's like, oh my God, the puppet is adorable. And everyone's a lockdown. You've made so many people happy. And now you're wearing the red skivvy. So you're like the babushka of joy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, I love the red Simons. Oh, yes. Because I'm the red wiggle and my name's Simon. So you were channeling <laughs> I something. <was> so <laughs> Incredible to have you as a part of our show, mate. And that Australia get to see you like this, completely mind-blowing. Well, I'll tell you what, I will never complain about wearing a skivvy ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please tag Simon Price, ladies and gentlemen? Next time you see us, a very special behind the scenes look at The Masked Singer. We'll give you VIP access to what goes on here when the cameras aren't rolling. And we will reveal our very last clues about our final three. Then it's time for the grand finale. Who will hold The Masked Singer trophy aloft for the take us out tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, The Red Wiggle, Simon Christ. Good night, Australia. Superstition, black cats and voodoo dolls. I feel a premonition that girl's gonna make me fall. Make you take your clothes off and go dancing in the rain. She make you give a crazy life. She'll take away your pain. Like a bullet to the brain. Come on.